I'm gonna love you. Hey everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Brian. Um, this one a little different. I'm going to do another review today. Um, by the way, what do y'all think of my new shirt? You're freaking me out. Ain't that cool? Oh, by the way, here's one of the, uh, here's one of the acrylics I did. Uh, my wife loves the movie Tombstone. And her favorite one in there was Val Kilmer. So, I did that for her. You can see over here. I'm your huckleberry. Anyway, today, um, while we was out and about, we went to Michael's and uh, I've got a table in my room, but I need something that tilts and, you know, basically like a drafting table, drawing table, what have you. So, uh, well, let me spin it around and I'll show you what I got. All right, this is what I got, folks. Oh, obviously I ain't got it up out of the box yet. It's the Artist Loft Arts and Crafts Creative Center. And this thing here, the reason I got this particular one, I don't know if I'll use this stool, it's included. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I got this because this table, as you can see here, will extend up quite, quite a good ways. So if I need an angle, I got that. And then this over here, as you can see, this tray here will extend out. And I set my laptop on there for uh, when I'm doing custom drawings or whatever I'm drawing. I can use my reference photo here. So I like that. And then you got two drawers down here that you can see up here that I can I'll probably store my pencil sets in there, I imagine. Get them up off the wall shelves. And then over here on the side, you've got places that I can store stuff. Put stuff in there, racers in here. I can put my pencils, blending brushes in here. And then uh, on the back here, I've got a big clamp on light with a daylight bulb. I can clamp that in there if I need more light. And right here on the front, as you can see, it's got this lip that extends up. So I can rest pencils in there, my paper or what have you. And uh, if you see down here, this thing will extend up. I'm hoping you can see there's a tray down here. I don't know if I'm going to take that off or not. Um, we'll see how high this thing extends up. And then it's got like little shock absorber things on the bottom here to kind of level it out. But this tray here may or may not get put on. Um, it depends. I'm uh, I'm six foot two, so you know I gotta I gotta be able to slide my knees up under there, and I don't see how with that tray there how I'm gonna be able to get up under there. I don't know. We'll see how it is once I get this thing all put together. But uh, you know. It's not probably not the best in the world. I'm gonna tell you this thing. Uh, normal price was $199.95 uh, at Michaels. Now I went to Hobby Lobby and looked too, and they had one similar to this with the side tray come out, but it was all black and it had glass here instead of wood, and uh, which may or might not have been better. I don't know. Could have been distracting to me to see what was underneath the table, you know what I mean? So I went with this one, but the one at Hobby Lobby is one ninety nine ninety five too, and uh, you know, I think, you know, I know you can get a lot better, cause I, my aunt up in Michigan, man, she's got like an actual drafting table. I mean, I'm pretty sure that thing probably costs upwards of a thousand dollars or so but uh you know i'm not i'm not picasso so i ain't got all kind of money so that like i said this was normally 199.95 and uh online michaels had it for 99.95 but in the store they didn't have sale but they went ahead and overrid it for me so i love michaels and uh, i got it for 99.95 in the store 
so I didn't have to pay for shipping. So, well, I don't know, I might not have had to anyway, I have no idea. But as you can tell, it's not bad, it's pretty cool. And this way, I'll actually, um, I'm gonna go in my art room, let me go ahead and pause this. We'll go in my art room and uh, I'll show you where I'm gonna put it. Be right back. All right, everybody. Well, as you see, I've started putting it together. I've been working on the Dagon thing about an hour now. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm too old and ain't got enough patience for this crap. Now, I wanna show y'all something. Where is it? Where are them pieces? All right, look right here. Oh, y'all see these little rubber pieces right here? These, this piece here, I already had this right here on it, but it didn't have this little rubber piece. So I had to put a screw in there to put that little rubber piece on. Now explain to me why that couldn't have been done at the factory. Why did I have to do that here at this house? Anyway, that's my number one complaint, Michaels. Well, it ain't Michaels. Whoever made this, Michaels just selling this out. Artist Loft, whoever makes that. I don't know. It's probably China. I have no idea. But, yeah, that number one complaint. There's no reason that couldn't have been done. But anyway, I got this part done. And then here is another part of it over here. And as you can see, here's more of it up here, and I still got some in the other room. But this is the step I'm fitting to work on right here. As you can see, I got to put these three pieces here which is these three here onto all these little pegs here all right and then after that then we flip it over and we put this onto this and yeah i think i got that right i hope i got that right if not this is uh yeah it's not gonna be good I got it done. Whew, I'm out of breath. But uh, this thing come with a stool too. And I'm gonna tell you something. You'll see this bottom ring here. This thing right there, that ring around the bottom. That's the hardest part of this whole daggum thing. Man, I'll tell you what. And the thing is, I don't even know if I'm ever gonna sit on that stool. I think it'll even go higher than that. Right there's that. Let's see. Let's have a little look. Oh yeah, this thing will go up three more slots. Is that it? That's it. Right there as high as it'll go. That is almost a 90 degree angle, folks. Hey, that's not bad. You see it here. <sighs> Be working on this thing. You can work on it like this. Just like you would a painting. And you got this lip here, which is Oh, I want to say that's at least half an inch and it curved up so it'll hold. Well, yeah. I'll say that. You hold your pencils in there if you want. Or you can rest like if you're doing a canvas. I'm not going to use this for canvas because that's what this is for over here. And I, you know, I had this, like I said, this board here, mobile, that I could draw on. And, uh, yeah, I've scratched it all up. This is going to be strictly for drawing. I want to keep this puppy smooth. So, this is just for drawing. But, uh, and see, you see how it swivels? That's nice. Pencil sit right there. They don't slide out. All this stuff's still in there. Got one of my little on-the-spot sharpeners right here. And I might clamp that puppy. I might clamp that right here. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. Alright, let's let this down some. You gotta bring it all the way up and then slide it back down. Now, I want to put this up to about about right there. And I'll tell you why I want this up at about this angle. Because y'all know I got four for my little baby little flea bags up in this house and I 
and not want a whole lot of claw sharpening on my new drawing service. So actually, I'm going to bring this up one more. Yeah, like that. Now, they get up on there, guess what? They sliding down. Actually, this might be a bad idea. Because if they slide, what's the cat going to do? They're going to try to dig in. They're going to claw up my daggum desk. I'll have to figure something out for that. Anyway, we'll leave it like that for now. Now, let me get my other chair here. Now, as you can see, also, down below, uh, you got a couple drawers there. Now, I'm going to tell you, these drawers are just little cheap, flimsy, I don't know, cardboard things. But, you know, I guess they'd be all right. I mean, you stick stuff in there, so... And they, they're on tracks, you know, well, now we've reached a problem. Didn't I want to go in there? Why does this not want to go in there? There it goes. I'm not sure why that didn't want to go in there. Thought we had a problem. Underneath here, as you can see, we got another area you can stick stuff down in there. I don't know if that's like a footrest thing. Because I've seen one desk. Well, let me tell you about this other thing. And then here... Here's that slide out thing. That's where I'm gonna put my laptop for reference while I'm drawing. Put that right here. And then it slides, slides back in like that. So, it's not bad for, for a hundred bucks. I don't, let me spin this around. I'll be right back. All right, that's better. Yeah, I can get some of my coffee. Now, I get some, speaking of which. Now, like I said, this thing originally was $199. No, now back to what I was going to say earlier before I spun it around. Um, down here, this that metal grate looking thing I showed you down here, I think it's to hold stuff. However, uh, there was a desk at Hobby Lobby. What desk? I don't know what to call it. Draft table, I'm not sure. But there was a... Uh, I hear puffing out there. There was a uh, workstation. I'll call it a workstation. A Hobby Lobby. That underneath had two platforms. And one was angled, one was flat. I want to say that's where you put your feet. I don't know. That's what I would have done with it. You know, when you're sitting there spending hours drawing on something... And uh, sometimes you just need to kick back and lap, kick your feet up, you know. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's what that's to be used for or not. I might try it out, you know. I'm sure y'all going to hear about it later. I'm going to tell you how I broke the metal grate <laughs> under this workstation. <laughs> Put my big old feet up there. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you'd really stick under there. I mean, it's only about... About that wide, so I mean, maybe you stick paint tubes under there or something. I don't know, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it utilized. I guarantee, dead gum to you that. So uh, anyway, it's done. It took me about well. I've been working on it about two and a half, three hours, but I'm going to tell you, I wasn't working on this the whole time. Uh, shortly after the last part where you seen part of it laying on the ground, part of it over here, um, before I went to that next step and I showed you them three pieces laying on the table, I decided to take a break, so I went and uh, edited a video, spray paint video I did um, for actually be, well... Yeah, actually, it'll be the one, no, it'll be the one before this, so, this YouTube stuff's confusing sometimes, because you just about gotta, let me tell you, if you got a YouTube channel, you know what I'm talking about, you gotta, unless you got an editing team, and I don't, you're looking at my editing team, um, you, you gotta do at least one or two ahead of schedule, because, you never know what's going to happen. Like, I'm going to tell you, I had uh, four or five videos stored up and edited 
one time and I'm glad I did it because then I turn around and uh, that's when I got that pneumonia and I was down and out for about uh, two weeks I guess and uh, while I was on those antibiotics and stuff and I was glad I had them videos already done because I'm telling you when you got pneumonia and you're running fevers and all that crap. You don't feel like editing no stupid video. So, especially when you're not getting paid for doing the videos. I mean, it's different if you're getting paid to do it. Then, you know, you, you push through and you're like, well, yeah, I'm getting paid. You know, I got to get this done. But when you ain't getting paid, when YouTube pulls the rug out from under you, you know, I was getting paid on YouTube. And then... Some Einstein at YouTube decided that, uh, well, we're going to change regulation. Then they switched it to now you got to have 1,000 subs and 4,000 total watch hours in a 12-month period of time. So I got demonetized again. The first time I got demonetized, it was my own fault. I signed up for AdSense, you know, and, man, I had everybody watching my videos. And my family, my wife, everybody, you know, and, uh. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Because I don't know why I thought that they wasn't going to catch that crap. <laughs> but, you know, the people that I was telling about it were like clicking the ads and then going, clicking the ad, going, clicking the ad. Who don't do that. Because then I got an email said, uh, surprise, you suspended for 30 days. Your ad revenue cut off. So... I got cut off ad revenue. And then I had to call everybody, my friends, my family, you know, told my wife, hey, don't click on no more of them ads. <laughs> I guess they want natural ad clicks. They don't, want, they don't want family ad clicks. So I tell my family, leave them alone. So anyway, I finally got reinstated and, uh, and then they made that change. And I'm sure once I reach a thousand subs and, 4,000 watch hours, which I'm close to that one. Um, they're probably going to come up and say, oh, now you need 10,000. I, I have no doubt. There's a rumor going around that YouTube is secretly trying to kill off certain channels and they're trying to wipe out the smaller channels because they want to be the next Netflix and they can't be the next Netflix with all us little small creators around. They want people like Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon and, you know, Conan O'Brien and guys like that on there, you know, that do this stuff on a regular basis anyway, big time, you know, big time people. And so they're trying to lure them in and they're trying to push people like me out, which sucks because YouTube, if it wasn't for people like me, you wouldn't even be in business to begin with. Because if it wasn't people like me posting up videos all the daggum time, it wouldn't be no YouTube. You would have never even got off the ground. So that's kind of crappy to be doing what you're doing. But anyway, that's the side point. Um, back to this thing. Uh, 99 bucks. Like I said, is what I got it for on sale. Do I think it's worth 99 bucks? Yeah. I think it, well, 100, like 103 with tax, 104. Is it worth 104? Yeah, I think so. You know, it, it's actually not bad. I think it's worth it. The original price, 199, which would be like 207, 208. Do I think it's worth that? Mm, now you're pushing the boundaries. Of, nah, I don't think so. You know, 100 bucks. Yeah, um, 90%. Yeah, it's good. It's good for 100 bucks. But 200, only oh, about 20, 30% sure at that price. So, but you know, if you need something that you know you want that can angle multiple things, you got a lip here, you got a little extended table here where you can put a laptop or you know, a little. I don't know, something to put a, a uh, reference photo on. Um, like I said, it's got drawers down here. You can, I'm going to stick my Prisma collars and Faber Castells to get some get some daggum weight off of my shelf up there before it collapses on my head. 
and uh, you know you got your little compartments over there and then like I said you got this one under here oh and this thing you can adjust the height um, about I want to say about that much so was about seven eight inches you can adjust the height this whole workstation so I mean it's that part's pretty cool and it's got little screw in stabilizers on the bottom so if you're working on a wood surface and you feel it a little wobbly you can go down there and screw it see I'm on carpet so it don't matter I ain't had to mess with that this is pretty sturdy as it is but if you're on a wood surface or like linoleum or something like that or a real short carpet you might have to mess with that but they they screw screw in and out so they call them stabilizing legs so well it's kind of like uh what's on a washing machine you screw them in and out stabilize your washing machine same thing just like with this so that's pretty cool and uh i don't know you know for a hundred bucks i gotta say i'm pretty happy you know i think i'm gonna get a lot of a lot of use out of this table you know this will be good as long as my little flea bag cats don't scratch up the surface. I think I'm going to leave it angled like that. Maybe one will jump on, slide off the end of it, and the other three will see and be like, oh, man, I ain't getting up on that thing. That thing's a death trap. So I hope. If not, I hope you can get replacement boards for this thing or I had to put some more laminate over it or something because all four of my cats got claws i don't believe in declawing animals so they get sharp claws i got scratching posts all over this house and they utilize it they utilize my door frame and if they mad they utilize legs arms what <laughs> have you they don't care they're equal opportunity scratchers they don't care Anyway, I'm going to get off here. All in all, 100 bucks. Yes. Thumbs up. Good job, Arslaw. Uh, 200 bucks. Nah, ain't worth 200 bucks. For 100 bucks, most definitely. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, Hobby Lobby, one, 199. This one, 199. Even if they didn't have it on sale, you still don't pay that price, you know. They both, uh, every once in a while, Michaels have a 50% off sale. Sometimes they'll have, they always got a 40% off coupon. And Hobby Lobby always has 40% off coupon. Don't ever, 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 ever pay full price at either one of them stores, folks. Never. Like I said, if you got a smartphone, put Michael's. Michael's coupon. It'll bring it up. They can get the code right there. Your Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby's coupon. 40% right there on your smartphone. If you ain't got a smartphone... They got the ads inside store as you walk in. They got their little sale ad. Got a little coupon. Clip it out. And if your store don't have one, when you get up to the register, nine times out of ten, the people up the register got the little flyers up there. And they'll just, oh, okay, I'll cut the coupon out for you. Don't ever pay full price, folks. Now, some stuff, uh, like if it's on sale or it's on clearance, something like that, you're not going to be able to use coupon. Um, trust me, I tried. You know, I'm cheap, I tried. It don't work. Don't even try. Um, but normal price stuff, don't pay it like that. Don't pay $199 for that. Um, use the coupon, you know. And then it would be $120-$130. Is it worth that? Yeah, I'm about 60%, 60-70% sure. Even at $130, i would say it's probably close to worth that. You know, but for a hundred, most definitely. Um, so we'll see. I'm sure I'll be doing a video here for long. I'm going to move my lights because I've set up my station for over here. And now i got to move it for over here. And there's no outlaw, outlaws. Yeah, outlaws. There's no outlets on that wall. There's one on that wall. There's one on the wall behind me. So extension cord time which is bad because well, I think they're all out of that phase now there was a phase where my cats you know they get that certain age and they want to chew on stuff like a teething age and 
charging cords for phones, USB cords. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm going to get off here and uh, I'm going to try to get some more stuff moved over to this workstation and try to get clean, some of this stuff cleaned up, my pig style, get a little more organized and uh, see if I can work on a drawing here for long. Let y'all see. I need I probably work on one of our cats, I think. I don't know. I'll work on something. Anyway, love y'all. Y'all be good to each other. I'll bring you something again real soon. Thank you for watching, everyone. Remember, click on my goofy little mug down there to subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button to show me some love and support. And leave me comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the video, what you'd like to see in the future, or just how your day's been. Doesn't matter. Just leave me a comment. And as always, folks, I love y'all. Thank you for showing your support. And I'll see you again real soon, folks.